Hi guys, happy Thursday. So I was lame and last week I did not post, um, but I absolutely love the topic for last week. So I'm just going to do a quick little combo video um, for last week's topic and this week's topic. So last week's topic was going on about uh, what we do to help our um, men to feel more masculine and more comfortable with themselves. Um, I guess the first thing that I do is uh, definitely tell Lex often that uh, he's handsome and that um, he's, you know, starting to look bulked up. Uh, he's been making um, a lot of progress as far as his fitness goes, and uh, his chest has been a lot um, more, like, firm and strong, and his arms, and so I'll, you know, grab his biceps all the time and be like, oh, you're so strong, babe. Um Things like that uh, definitely help to reassure him. Um, just uh, making him fully aware that he's my protector. He's a big, strong man. Uh, so, you know, we'll hear a bump in the night while we're um, getting ready to go to bed. And I'll be like, baby, you got to go check it out. You got to go, got to go. And I'll like give him a baseball bat and he'll go venturing out as a big, strong guy, you know, protecting me. Um just little things like that help him to feel more comfortable in himself. Um, fortunately, he uh, is pretty comfortable in his body as it is, so um, that's great. And we haven't dealt with any kind of uh, dysphoria or anything so far, so um, we've been very fortunate in that aspect. Um, and then as far as this week's topic goes, um, my situation is a little bit different. Uh, Lex and I met... Uh, after Alexa started tra transitioning. So, um, you know, as far as the transition process went, um, that wasn't something that I really had to touch on too much. Um, I did have to deal a lot with people uh, being kind of confused um, with me coming out a couple years prior to um, to me being in a relationship with Lex. Uh, that was a little bit confusing for people. Um I kind of just say, I don't care. <laughs> uh, I tell people, well, you know, it is what it is. I fall in love with who I fall in love with. It's pretty easy for me to just slip kind of back into that, um, that state of mind of, well, you know, I started pursuing girls because the, you know, the first person that I had an attraction for is just one of those things that I, um, came to terms with myself that, this person is someone I'm attracted to regardless of what their gender is and um, they happen to be women and I just, you know, started exploring that part of my sexuality and enjoying that part of my sexuality. Um, so, you know, getting together with Lex wasn't so much for me as like, oh, you're going back to men or anything like that, although some people definitely did think that and um, I'm fine now with them thinking that. That's whatever. At the time, I was a little weird about it just because I didn't want to be like that person. Um, you know, someone that people look at going, oh, well, you just went through your experimental college phase. Uh, cause that's definitely not the case. Um, but I'm over it now. People will think what they think. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lex, I mean, Lex is definitely every bit the, um, the man, <laughs> uh, that he is. And so, you know, we don't ever have any questions or anything about that. And unless he tells people that he's trans, no one assumes it. Um, so that's really neat. Uh, he's just, you know, accepted. Um, the beard definitely helps. <laughs> I'll have said that before. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, so this is a short video today. I will talk to you guys all next week. Have a good weekend.